Hey there, this is Amanda from Classy Squid Fiber Company and I'm just going to be showing you today a quick little video on how to do a ply back test at the wheel if you are preparing to chain ply. So now normally if you're going to do a ply back test you would just be spinning along and you would stop, pull out some of your single here, either just let go or put a weight on the end of it and you can see what your two ply would look like. Now if you are wanting to chain ply, that obviously is not going to show you exactly what the final result will be because that's only two plies. So for a chain ply, you would still do the same thing, um, but now we're going to stop and we need a little bit more yarn to pull, of the single to pull out here and we're going to be double, tripling it back on itself so that we have three strands. So I kind of use my, um, my fingers here to wrap it around so that I can make this little loop. And now I have three strands all together, so this will be what our chain ply will look like. Now if you just let go, this is just going to do really weird wonky things. Um, so what you have to do is insert the ply twist manually. So you can just pinch it off right at the end of this little loop that you've made and just manually give it some twists. And you want to watch your fiber supply here because you're putting um, different types of twist into it there, so just keep an eye on that. Um, but now, what you've got in between your hands here, and you can actually let go and this will um, kind of stop at the balance point the same way that your two-ply plyback sample would. Um, and if you want, you could cut this off and tape it to your wheel, tie a knot in both ends so that the um, strands don't come undone and use this as a control sample. If you don't want to do that, you can just keep spinning, but this is a quick way that you can just check what your chain ply or three ply is going to look like once you're done. Um, you do want to be a little careful with unraveling this, um, just so you don't get it caught on itself. Sometimes you can get a couple of little slip knots in there just from twisting around, um, but it's a good way just to check on how you're doing.